Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got my clout goggles on my head and I've got a new video for you guys that I've never done before but I'm really excited and nervous to film. This is going to be an unpopular opinions video. If I have a different opinion to you on these topics, don't come for me. I just kind of want to say my opinions because I have a lot of opinions on different things that you may or may not agree with. That is why it's an opinion. I'm not bashing anyone who has different opinions. I'm not coming for anyone, so don't come for me. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you want to see part two, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the bell so you are notified when I upload. The first one is about Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. I love them both, but I have to say, Cardi B is overrated and Nicki Minaj is my all-time favourite. I love Nicki. She does such amazing things for people and I'm not saying Cardi doesn't. I just think that she's very overhyped at the moment. I think it's amazing how much success she's got and I'm not coming for her or her success. I'm not hating. I love her. No, I really do, but I feel like everyone's forgotten about Nicki now. It's kind of sad. So, if you've forgotten about her, this is one of her albums. There you go. The next opinion is that James Charles is amazing. Like, I love him so much. Everyone's gonna hate on me for this because I know he's done bad things in the past, but he is really young. I don't know if he's 17 or 18, but he's really young. He's learnt from his mistakes, and I think he was kidding at Coachella too. I thought his outfits were on point, and I don't think he's serving as much hate as he gets. So, yeah. You're watching this James Charles? Hey sister. My third opinion is that probably a lot of people agree with and it is that people are so sensitive these days and oversensitive. You can't do anything without it being a big problem or like a scandal. Like you can walk outside and like step on a flower by accident and all of a sudden you're like a murderer or some shit. Like I don't know why but people are very sensitive these days so another opinion I guess now these opinions are going to get very salty and I know this is where I'm gonna get the most hate from firstly there are two genders I'm completely admired by people who are transgender I think they're amazing and to become the opposite gender I agree with I'm not transphobic in any way I think whatever makes you happy you can do that but it's these people from like tumblr who are kind of almost making fun of transgender people by identifying as a loaf of bread or identifying as a 12 year old child when you're 46 like it's kind of getting a bit overwhelming now and it's annoying because there's actual transgender people out there who are born in the wrong bodies and like, are trapped and don't feel right and everything and they want to become the opposite sex but now there's trans disabled people now who pretend to be disabled um, there's trans age people who pretend to be like a three year old child when they're 40, like that's a bit wrong. There's people who identify as like a makeup brush, like I think people really need to chill out and it kind of looks a bit like you're begging for attention by doing that and it just makes the transgender community a lot more hard for people to be in because now loads of people are going to come for them thinking they're part of this weird helicopter group where they pretend to be helicopters and they're gonna end up getting hate and I don't think that's fair. Next one is that K-pop is overrated. Oh my god. I know if I've got K-pop fans out there, they are going to come for me. But hear me out. I just think that not my cup of tea. I don't think it's awful, but it's just Korean pop. It's like just like American pop, like English pop, like it's just really basic. It's not this massive thing. I'm not hating on the people who are like in K-pop bands. Like you do you. You get famous. You get the money. Like I will never hate on anyone for being successful in a good way. Because they're not doing anything bad. But I just think their fandoms are very. Um, yeah. Their fandoms are very. I don't know what to say. Uh, they're very like. They will come for you. So if you're watching this and you're a K-pop fan. I'm not hating. Like. I just think that, that people overreact over their music a bit, but I could say the same for Justin Bieber, like, I'm a believer, so like... The next one is one I feel so strongly about, and this is about 13 Reasons Why and why it's the worst show on Netflix, but I will continue to watch it. 13 Reasons Why is meant to make people aware of suicide and how it can happen, but it comes across in a very vindictive way it's almost like hannah 
is trying to get back at the people who, may I just say, the majority of them haven't done anything wrong to her. Um, as far as I saw, the show had no portrayal of depression itself. In my opinion, apart from the one thing with Bryce happened, like that whole thing, I can get that. But apart from that, Hannah just came across as really selfish and only thought about herself. And it didn't show how depression made her kill herself. I spoke to a lot of people as well and they all agree that like, it kind of seems like she called herself over nothing. And the way she kind of got out back at people was quite nasty. The fact they showed the suicide was awful. She shouldn't have done that. I think that was a really bad choice to do because it's triggering and people probably think, well, I can go kill myself now and give tapes out or give letters out to people to get back at them after I die. And I do not think that's right whatsoever. I'm still gonna watch the second season, but I really just dislike the show in general. If you watch a show, hopefully you'll know what I mean, but when you actually see a depression and stuff firsthand and then you watch the show, it's kind of, it doesn't show depression, it just shows little kind of tiny things like when they said she's got a big ass she got all sad like i don't understand and hopefully season two shows depression because it didn't in the first show so yeah this next one is about feminists and i personally identify as a feminist but there's certain types of feminists who make feminism look like trash they make it look like a horrible kind of organization thing is horrible i think that men and women should be equal and i'm not gonna put men down to make women better but there's feminists who hate on men so much just to make women look better i think it's the wrong way to do it and it kind of makes me shame say i'm a feminist sometimes because people's portrayal of feminists is people who hate men think men should die and stuff and i don't think that i think we should all be equal in the world completely men women race country origin whatever we should all be treated equally and that's just that the next one is that pineapple does not belong on pizza i just do not like pineapple pizza why is it on there cooked pineapple literally is why like that doesn't make sense you wouldn't cook a strawberry and eat it so why would you cook a pineapple and eat it it's a fruit fruit stem long pizza simple as the next one is that harry potter is so overrated i tried watching one before because i was like what's the hype about but it's literally the most boring thing i've ever watched in my life i wanted to die all the way through it and yeah that's all i can say about that really the next one is about fat shaming and the Fat acceptance and body positivity should not mean belittling thin people. I am not a skinny girl. I put two stone on in America. Like, I am officially fat. I don't think people should put down thin people to kind of make room to accept fat people, you know? I think both body types, whether you're thin, whether you're chubby, whether you're obese, like, it should be okay to be who you are. And we should all be equal. Just like feminism, we should all be equal. We shouldn't be belittling someone else because we're different. Even though I know that a lot of bigger people have been hated on so much in the past. But we shouldn't be hating on thin people now. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. The last one is that vegans aren't that bad. I personally don't think vegans are um, bad people. A lot of people make them out to be really horrible people. And in reality, they just want to help the animals. And if I could be vegan, I would. I've tried. I want to be vegan in the future, though, because the thought of, like, killing animals hurts my feelings so much. But I don't know I'm doing so much hand actions, but, yeah. It just breaks my heart that, that it's okay to kill animals. But I think a lot of vegans out there just want to help the environment. But some vegans out there are kind of... Like, they kind of want to, like, force their opinions on you, which is wrong. But... Overall, vegans aren't as bad as they're made to be. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to part two, give this a thumbs up. Comment down below your unpopular opinions or if you disagree or agree with any of mine.